The Lord be with you. Good everyone. Happy feast day to all of us. Today we are celebrating the feast day of St. Joseph, patron of the Universal Church, St. Joseph as husband of Mary, and the father of Jesus. Today we are so glad that despite the worldliness, despite the challenges in every family, despite the many temptations and attacks within and outside our church, we remain strong because we have a patron and protector in the name of Joseph. In the same way that Jesus Christ was protected and defended by Joseph against those people who tried to kill him when he was a child. Today, we are very much secured also with our protector, St. Joseph. And as we reflect today, the role of St. Joseph in the universal church, in the history of our salvation, let us try to remember the three important virtues of St. Joseph. The number one is his obedience to the will of God. What made St. Joseph a noble saint is his complete obedience to the will of God. Remember, they were about to be married, Joseph and Mary. But in a split of second when the angel appeared, all of those were changed. And we can imagine how Joseph, being a responsible man, was already planning so many beautiful things about his family. But he set aside those to pay the way for the will of God. Such obedience we need today. We are people who are full of pride in ourselves. We want sometimes it is the Lord who will follow us, not we following the will of God. Let us allow God to work in us so that we may learn to completely surrender everything and obey the will of God in our life. Secondly, St. Joseph was a man of silence. But his silence was not a timid silence. His silence was not a silence that is simply passive and just waiting for something to happen. His kind of silence was active silence. And that is what we need today. In this very chaotic world, we need people who will be silent. And in their silence, they are working. In their silence, they are praying. In their silence, they're contemplating. And in their silence, they are allowing God to overpower and lead them to what is right. And thirdly, St. Joseph was very creative in his obedience to the will of God. When Pope Francis said, that St. Joseph was creatively courageous. That creativity is what we need today, especially among fathers, especially among the head of the families, in the head of the church, in the head of our society. We need people who will be creative yet faithful. We need people who will be creative yet putting aside not their interest, but the interest of God. Creative because they want to help people bring out the best in them. Creative because they will not settle for what is there. Creative because they are participating in the wonderful power of God in making things possible. Remember how St. Joseph creatively worked for the Holy Family. That's how we should be today. Let us not allow evil and those doing evil to be more creative than us who are doing good. Let us be obedient, let us be actively silent, and let us be creatively courageous in putting forward the will of God. Happy Feast Day, everyone!